This is all about consumers, hard at work. This is how some people celebrate 4th of July, or some people refer to it as Independence Day, where some people went from being under the rule of one oppressive government and then went under the rule of another and celebrate that. You might want to read Psalms chapter 2 because there's a false administration that's been set up. I did another writing where I trash the National Security Agency. And I'm going to read that for you. I have five pictures along the top of this writing, which I am distributing in Indianapolis, Indiana. The first picture is of Harry S. Truman. NSA founder. The next picture is Michael Aquino, NSA pedophile. I have written under that. The next picture is Temple of Set, Aquino's cult. The next picture is IHS, the gods. Isis, Horus, Set. And the last picture I have on here is IHS, Jesuit religion. And I'll read this for you. The 33rd U.S. President and 33rd degree Freemason Harry S. Truman formed the NSA money for surveillance scam in 1952. He was partial to a special interest religious cult that agreed with making forced customers pay for surveillance through tax law. So as a result, taxpayers were charged tax money for having surveillance employees survey taxpayers and their children, whether they wanted it or not. And NSA surveillance is how religious cult pedophiles ended up finding child victims to rape at the expense of taxpayers. You see, Lilith Aquino, a Roman Catholic, and her husband, Michael Aquino, who NSA employed, was a union made in state church, which state church is not the body of Christ. And Michael Aquino did surveillance on children before he molested and killed them. So he was paid indirectly by taxpayers to stalk, molest, and murder children through the National Security Agency, which I'm putting out of business. A more correct name for the NSA might be the Roman Catholic Pedophile Security Agency because NSA employees work security for those religious child molesters through partial law. And Michael Aquino's Temple of Set that he founded was the first openly satanic cult in the U.S. to be given a so-called nonprofit status by certain corrupt government. So not only was he paid for his services by the NSA, but he was also awarded a special satanic cult religious status for his particular child molesting religion. And Jesuits also molest children, but they're not as open as Aquino about being involved in Satanism. Did you ever wonder why so many little boys have been sexually molested by Jesuit priests? It's because those kind of priests are reprobate bastards to God, which even exceed the wickedness of the common reprobate. Romans 127, 
And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another, men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meet. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind. Now Jesuits are a certain male religious order of the Roman Catholic counterfeit church. And I call it counterfeit church because the real church is the body of Christ. And no one goes to the real body of Christ on Sunday just to leave for six days and repeat. Furthermore, no one comes to Christ unless the Father draws them. I should know. I was drawn, and I'm in the body of Christ, the church. It's a spiritual house made without hands. So when you see that Jesuit logo of a son with a cross in it. Just remember that Sunday was named after the sun, S-U-N, not the sun, S-O-N. And the body of Christ is justified by God and not Emperor Constantine's vision of a cross perched on the sun. 1 Peter 2, 3-7 If so be, ye have tasted that the Lord is gracious, to whom coming as unto a living stone, disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of God and precious. Ye also, as lively stones, are built up a spiritual house, and holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. Wherefore also it is contained in the scripture, Behold, I lay in Sion a chief cornerstone, elect, precious. And he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. Unto you therefore which believe he is precious, but unto them which be disobedient, the stone which the builders disallowed, the same is made the head of the corner. Masons are the builders who use what they call a cornerstone in the corner of their buildings. And this is how the chief cornerstone is made a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense to them which stumble at the word. Moreover, the chief cornerstone, Christ, is the head of the church. And I don't put my head in the corner of a building just to keep masons in business for some Catholic mafia labor union. Capiche? So let the double-minded pope know that the real powers that be are ministers of God. And there is therefore no such thing as a separation of church and state law for the real body of Christ. Judgment begins in the spiritual house of God, made without hands. And that is exactly where the saints judge the world from. Romans 13, verses 1 to 4. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of God, and they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Wilt thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. For he is the minister of God to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. For he beareth not the sword in vain. For he is the minister of God, a revenger t to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Do not support Catholic religion. And this by the ordinance of the living God through a real minister. And I have it signed, St. Michael, a terror to the evil. And I have to the right of that, www.iwarwiththebeast.blogspot.com. So... The established non-church would have people believe, obviously, that 
Obama, who they say is a power that be, or, or would refer to as a power that be, they would have people think that if someone resists the ordinance of God through him, they're damned. Someone who sold abortion. These people are coming down so hard. I can't even begin to tell you how hard they're coming down. A lot of you know it already. But when this thing really hits and this catches on, it's been catching on, people are picking up on this. This is when, and we're starting to see it, them running and hiding in their dens and in the rocks of the mountains like it talks about in Revelation. These people got no chance for getting away with what they've been getting away with in the past. It's all about to end for them. They're law perverts. This is what I was led to write about and to talk about today. Thank you.